guys, we've been in here five minutes and Allison spilled coffee all over the place. No. Oh man. They're gonna kick us out, aren't they? Yeah. Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From the train station here in <laughs> Venice. If you couldn't tell. Yeah, there's a big train behind us. <laughs> We're actually gonna be taking a high-speed train from Venice over to Rome. I am very excited. So this journey will take about four hours. You guys know we didn't have much luck with our last train ride. Now it's saying the next two legs are canceled. So I don't really know what's happening. We're looking into flights now. <laughs> We're thinking of trying to hop a plane over there. Looks like we found our new home. We finally got booted from our seats. Yeah. Now we're hallway people. Allison's feeling really sick. It's not good, you guys. I tried to take some ginger, but it hasn't kicked in yet. But we are hoping for a much better day today. Yes. So far, everything is on track. Huh? <laughs> on track? Nice one. Thanks. She didn't even rehearse that. <laughs> but this bad boy is a super high speed train, and we have booked ourselves into a class that is apparently too above first class. Yeah. So we it's are going beyond fancy today. Yeah. Executive. Class. Executive. Do we look level? like executives? <laughs> <laughs> we're the furthest thing from executive, to be honest, but we're but doing we, it anyway. We took our showers and we did our hair, so that's good, right? But we're going to give you guys a little bit of a look on the inside of the train when we start our train journey, but we actually got here early because... With our tickets, we get lounge access, and we never get lounge access, so we got here like three hours early, yes. so we can enjoy as much as we possibly can. We are ready to be executive for the next few hours. Yes, I right, should have put go. a tie on. Oh yeah, so. I don't own a tie, you guys. <laughs> to the lounge we go. We made it to the lounge. As you can hear, it is so much quieter and more chill than it is out there among all the chaos. It's very quiet except for Eric's booming voice right now. Yeah, so everyone in here can hear me, so we're gonna talk kind of quietly. <laughs> we got this whole amazing couch to ourselves. I just, I don't even know if this- It's the coolest couch ever. I mean, it's wild. And I see a little coffee machine over there, so we're gonna do that. Please. We actually already had our coffee, but we're gonna have more. We're gonna have more because it's free, or included in the price of our tickets. It's so free. free. It feels free. It feels free. <laughs> So that huge amount of steam was not a normal thing. It turns out there was no more milk and we didn't realize and kept trying to make drinks. It was making these terrible noises. So the lady came <laughs> over and uh, sorted it out, put more milk in there. And now so we're good now. to go. Back to the sequence. <laughs> Our train has arrived. That's it, right? Well, you can't see it, but that's it. Platform five. Let's go. All right. <laughs> next four hours yeah all right i don't know if we're just the first ones on or the only ones in here but either way i'll take it i don't know if it's quite enough space for us though i think we probably could have had a whole you know a whole car to ourselves car. yeah exactly <laughs> we've been in here five minutes and allison spilled coffee all over the place <laughs> No. Oh, man. They're gonna kick us out, aren't they? Yeah, oh, they're man. super nice though. They said they'd come and help us clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Welcome to the executive class. These are the very nice, huge seats. Yeah, check these out. Really <laughs> nice and padded. They're very padded. Got, I think, a little... Table in there so we can get some work done very or nice. eat our dinner. Power over here, which is very cool. Some buttons that I'm a little scared. What did it do? I hear something. I don't know what that does. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. There's a little cool. Okay, you can do that. There's these guys, which. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, that... How far back does it go? It. So that's as far back as it goes. So you okay. can't get completely horizontal, yeah. but it's pretty good. You won't be good. snoozing laying down, but it's only four hours, so that's okay. And another cool feature of the executive class is there's a whole boardroom in here, you guys. Whoa. Holy cow, really? check this out. Wow. <laughs> you can rent this and have meetings on the train, so you don't even have to stop your work day. And I think they said you can sync this with your laptop. I've never seen this before on a train. No, me either. We are officially off. It's crazy, when the train took off, I didn't even feel it. I didn't even know it was moving. It's so smooth. It's going very slowly at the moment, but it should go way fast pretty soon. But we're getting some views of Venice and all the water and stuff as we're 
pulling out of the station. We also have this entire car to ourselves, so we are the only two executives on this train at the moment. That there's, seems about right. There's also a business class back there, which is just, you know, a step down from executive, but still pretty good, I think. <laughs> Confirmed, the seats are quite comfortable. I mean, I do wish that they reclined more, but this is pretty freaking sick. I'm fighting the urge not to just fall asleep here. <laughs> oh, I, I have no doubts that you will. Yeah. Also, we were just given our menus. Everything on here is included, including the beer and wine list over here. Turns out the lounge had almost nothing in terms of food, so we are so hungry. This is looking amazing. Look who just boarded the train. Oh, oh my God. You are so adorable. Oh my God, you're the cutest thing I've ever seen. Are you jealous that I got to pet the little doggy? I am, I was gonna try to sneak out, but I'm kind of trapped in here, dang it. <laughs> this train ride just got a thousand times better. Oh, we can look at a little puppy the whole time. So I think we're less than an hour into our train ride and the views are already amazing. There's like rolling green mountainous hills and these big fields out there and everything's got a little hint of fall to it so everything's changing colors. This is very lovely. And I think we're about to have a little uh, dinner. Yeah, we got our little wine. Dinner is on its way. Does it get much better? I don't know. Our food has arrived. I ordered the gnocchi. Yeah, gnocchi. Gnocchi. <laughs> we really never really bad. pronounce it right. <laughs> I'm pronouncing it. I don't order it often, but it's pumpkin, pumpkin gnocchi. So I guess it's in a creamy pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. They're just really, a really nice consistency. And then the sauce is super creamy, a little peppery and salty. It is a very nice, hearty little meal. Beats an airline meal. Mm. Or at oh, least, yeah. you know, in coach where mm -hmm. we always are. <laughs> I saw on the menu they had these little uh, swordfish bites. So that's exactly what they are. Super simple and I got a little side of mashed potatoes with it. It's actually really tasty. And if there's herbs and stuff on there. But the only downside is I took so long getting our little thumbnail photo that now it's cold. <laughs> Dang, that always happens to us. But other than that, this is very good. Surprisingly good, I'd say. What do you think? I'm glad I went with my gnocchi. <laughs> Yeah, nope. I tried hers, it was pretty good, but I'm, I'm still in the mood for fish, even though we had a bunch last night. This is actually pretty good. As far as, like, normally I'd be scared to get fish on something like this. No. Don't be scared here, it's delicious. Bye. Okay, see ya. Let's see if I can not spill anything else. Nailed it. We got dessert. It's a peach and chocolate tart, I believe. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells like chocolate chip cookies, actually. Ooh, it smells like cookie dough, but it kind of is like a, a blondie or something, almost like a brownie consistency. The food has been amazing. We really didn't have that high of expectations, but no, yeah. very happy with it. One of the best things about executive class is that you have so much room to stretch around. I Look mean, at this. Got all of the room world back here. Yeah, we can basically stand up the entire ride if we want to. And dance if we want to. We made it to the main station here in Rome. I'm honestly sad that it's over because I was having a really good time. I actually fell asleep. It yeah, was I was about awesome. to say, he was asleep for like the last hour. Yeah, but now we've been plunged into the chaos of Rome's main station, whatever it's I was called. I'm not quite prepared for it. There are so many people yeah. here. I think all we need to do is take one more train over to our Airbnb. We're staying in an area called... Trevez? Trevez? Okay. We'll get back to you. We haven't yeah. really figured out exactly how to pronounce it, but then we'll be there. And just like that, from executive class to second class, <laughs> we're back in the stairwell. It reminds yeah. us of our last train ride. <laughs> we also had to run, make a mad dash actually, to the train because we bought a ticket for a train that left in five minutes. Well, all the trains left right across the security line from where we were, so we're like, oh, that's easy, we'll just walk right over there. Turns out there's another part to the main terminal. It's like a mile to the back. Yeah, it was a, maybe a half a mile it that really we had was. to Walk. He saw us coming and waited and they got him right behind us and closed and locked the door. It was lucky. Ooh, we did definitely luck out. I am so glad that you can hopefully not tell how sweaty I am though. <laughs> Roma Trastevere. That's the name of the station. 
We made it. So we're supposed to pick up our key from this little box in the back of a cafe near the station. We're supposed to be able to put in our phone number here and it open a box that has our key for our Airbnb. But it's not working. This day was going so smooth until this. We're at the lockbox and I've tried um, every combination of my phone number and none of them are opening the key box. So I was just wondering if you could send me the exact number. Uh -huh. Success. We had to try like 20 different codes, but finally it worked. We have our key. Now we go to our apartment. Uh, we made it. We got the keys. We got into the apartment. <laughs> we made it, guys. We are in Rome. I'm sure we're going to have dreams of our executive experience, but we're back to the uh, non-executive experience. Although the place we're staying in is actually pretty cool. Check this out. This is our little kitchen over there. Mm -hmm which maybe we'll show you more of this at some point later. I don't know. But then our bedroom's back there. Yeah, it's we like have a, multiple a rooms. A few rooms, which doesn't normally happen. And yeah. it's definitely, I guess we didn't show you guys the place we were staying in Venice, but it was the size of the kitchen area pretty much. And yeah, that was it. That was it. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on the executive train ride. It was probably the nicest yeah. train ride we've ever done. Oh, yeah. for sure, y'all. It doesn't even compare to the train ride in any other class that we've ever done. Yeah. Like this was just a whole league of its own. And actually the reason that we did the executive class is because it was a lot cheaper than when you upgrade to the business class on a, on a flight. It really yeah. wasn't that expensive. So we figured we would treat ourselves. Yeah, it was, I think, less than 100 euros a person to upgrade. So yeah. we were like, eh, let's, let's yeah. try it one time. I always time wanted to try it, it, so it, goes. it was worth it one yeah. time. You guys should let us know in the comments below what your best train ride experience has been or if you've tried executive class or business class and how you like it. All right. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.